the one reason that this plant loves this location is not only the full sun that it needs, but it loves the rock mulch because it retains the heat so well. Mm -hmm. It radiates the actual heat back to the plant after the sun's gone down and it keeps the plant really happy and nice and warm. Hey everybody, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. Hi everybody, happy Monday to you. It is day 133 of the Quarantine Gardeners. And if you don't know, that's us, we're the Quarantine Gardeners, and this is our daily video log of us accomplishing projects around our garden while under quarantine. And we're so thankful you're here today, you guys, and hopefully this mulching tip for today will help you. If you're new to our channel, welcome, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on all the other daily videos. So guys, today is Mulching Monday, and today we wanted to give you the pros and cons of using rock mulch in your garden. Yeah, we have rock mulch around our garden in different areas. It's different sizes and shapes of rock mulch, so but it might not be for everybody, and we want to highlight those parts as well. Here is one example of rock mulch in our yard. This is a white marble. Um, we got really excited and put this in a couple different beds of our yard that were really dark, and it just instantly brightened everything. There's this huge rowdy up above right in this rock mulch, and yeah, like Allison said, putting this rock mulch in here, this crushed marble, just really brightened up and gave this part of our yard a whole different look. It's awesome. I don't think we would necessarily have this everywhere though. I think we would get annoyed by the look of it. So I'm glad we have it in just a small area. Mm -hmm. Me too. So guys, something to think about, especially with this crushed marble is if you have fir trees like we do, you can see the fir needles really accumulate. And if you don't keep up on them on a regular basis, at least once a week, you're gonna get what we have here, which is just a bunch of fir needles that are compacted and just all mashed together. We just blew this down before we actually started recording. And so this already had the blower on it and you can see there's still a lot of needles left. Yeah. So it's just something you gonna need to think about when you're using rock mulch. How are you gonna keep it clean and what's around it that could get it dirty? One thing that's awesome about this rock mulch though is we've had this for what, honey? Probably about four or five years now. About four. Yeah, and it's we, we haven't really needed to do anything to it. A definite pro for having rock mulch in your yard is it lasts a really long time before you need to do any kind of replenishing or anything. So guys, here's another example of a plant with rock mulch around it. This is our lavender out in front of our house, and it loves to be planted in this pea gravel. Um, there's a lot of gravel underneath this pea gravel, and so the drainage here is great. Actually, you guys, this is three individual English lavender plants that have grown so big in this area because they love the rock mulch that they are like growing into each other now. Yep, they love this spot right here. So one reason that this plant loves this location is not only the full sun that it needs, but it loves the rock mulch because it retains the heat so well. Mm -hmm. It radiates the actual heat back to the plant after the sun's gone down and it keeps the plant really happy and nice and warm when everything else is cooling down. Plus, drainage here is really good and so this is perfect for and around this lavender plant. It doesn't stay wet all the time after it gets watered or after it rains, it actually gets to dry out and this plant loves that. Yeah, it's perfect for that, really. Yep. So the main pro here being that the rock mulch retains the heat, which this plant particularly loves. A con also could be the fact that it does retain heat. Because if you plant certain plants in here that don't like this kind of heat, they're not going to survive. So that could, so the retaining of heat could be a pro and a con. So we showed you two examples of where we're using rock mulch, where there are actually plants in the ground and the rock is being used as an actual mulch. Yeah guys, we're here in our fire pit area and so this is a way, another way to use rock mulch but not really as a mulch. This is an alternative surface that we have here in our fire pit because we didn't want to put in concrete, we didn't want to put in pavers. We thought putting in this pea gravel would be a nice alternative and it's nice and soft, easy to walk on it, moves a little bit when you step on it. Looks good as a contrast with the pavers there and then the mulch that you see right here into the garden bed just outside of the fire pit. And so we use the pea gravel here. There is a weed barrier underneath this, that landscape fabric, and so we haven't really had any weeds grow up through that. We've None. had some weeds grow on top of that fabric and grow through the rock that way, but that was from mountain ash tree and a couple other things going on, but they came up so easy and they've been few and far between. This has been a great surface alternative for us around our fire pit. It also retains heat, just like the rock mulch around our lavender. And you can see this container is just blowing up and it's not even really in full sun. 
but it's doing very well. It gets kind of a residual heat from the gravel. Yeah, these have basically shot up in the last about week or two, especially since we just started getting 80 plus degree weather constantly, more consistently now. And they love it. They're loving love that it. residual heat every day. Um, even when the sun goes down, there's still heat coming up off this gravel because it'll retain that heat for so long. And these plants love it. Which, as we've said, is a major bonus to having rock mulch, is that yep. heat retention. As long as the plants that you want to place near it or in it can handle that kind of heat. So you guys, we hope that was helpful. And if you're like trying to decide if you want to add rock mulch or if it's right for you, those are some pros and cons that we've discovered over the years that we've had it in our yard. Make sure when you're looking to use rock as mulch in your garden that it also fits the nutritional needs of the plants you're going to be placing it around if you're going to be placing it around them. Unlike wood chip mulches, rock mulches really don't add a lot to your soil for nutrition. So this is something you want to keep in mind when choosing a rock mulch to place around your plants. Yeah, if you don't need to build your soil, then go ahead and use rock mulch. It lasts a really long time, which is probably one of the biggest benefits of rock mulch. Make sure to also realize that if you need to add more nutrition to your soil later on after you've put rock mulch in, you're basically going to need to move the rock out, add your soil amendments, and then move the rock mulch back in. So there's a little bit of heavy lifting and work involved. Just keep that in mind. So guys, if you're looking for more information on how to mulch or what mulch is, we have a Mulching Start Here page and you can go to SpokenGarden.com forward slash mulching dash start dash here and you can get a lot more information on mulching and how to mulch and a lot of different mulching topics. Yeah, we've, we would love to help you with your mulching needs. We're also developing a mulching course which we're going to have ready before this fall. So stay tuned for that. If you need help with mulching, you want to know how to lay it out properly and all the steps needed, We'll have that ready for you. So guys, leave your comments and questions down below for us. We love hearing from you. Give us that thumbs up. Let us know we're doing a good job. And subscribe to our channel so you get updates on our latest videos. And that's a wrap for this week's Mulch Monday tip. We'll be back tomorrow with another new project. So until then, see you tomorrow, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.